What's up, family? This is a video that a man filmed of his neighbor doing something rather strange in his backyard. I ain't gonna tip you off. Check out the video. Leave your comments and I'll come back with mine. Hey, what the fuck, ah! are, you doing? What the fuck oh, are you doing? God damn. What are you doing? And now your fucking business. Why, why are you fucking reaching doing? why are you reaching under my fence? What are you talking about? You're reaching your hand under the fence? I'm taking the fucking dirt out of the fucking fence. You mine? Don't. It's my side of the fence. Okay? No, it's not. You're Get reaching under my Hey, you know what? Get lost. Stop talking to me. Hey, you know what? Get, stop talking to me. You're not, stop talking you're to not me. supposed stop to be on my to property. Stop talking to me. I'm not on your property. I'll stay on my mind. You're reaching under my fence. I'm doing what I need to do. It's none of your fucking business what I'm doing. <sighs> you know what? I told you before, if you come uh, on my side of the property, you never told me nothing. Get I'm going to call away from me. I'm gonna call the cops. Stop, and get the fuck away from me. Guess what? I'm going to call get, the cops. Get away from me. 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 I'm tired of you fucking molesting me. Tired of you fucking costing me. Oh, really? Tired of you. Yeah, you're fucking always on me. Leave me alone. You're always watching what I'm doing. You're fucking a pervert. You're on and my you're side. Of no, I'm on my side. Get the fuck away from me. Stop talking to me. You're being creepy over here, so stop, stop it. Stop fucking talking to me. Okay, could anybody figure out what the hell dude was trying to do? Looks like he was molesting the rocks. Digging all in the dirt like he digging in something. You know what I mean? This is why it's important to know where you're laying your head at. Get an idea of your surroundings, the people that are coming and going. I know in today's world, everybody minds their own business and it's not important for a lot of people in their mind to get to know their neighbors. But I'm telling you, you got to kind of be snoopy. You got to kind of snoop around. See who you're around. And look out that window every now and then and just watch and just see if something happens. Got to be very, very cautious. I used to have this neighbor. She was very, very nosy. She, she called me once. It was a guy sitting out in his car. And right outside my house, and she called, and she said, Willie? It's an old white lady. She's like, Willie? Uh, do you know anybody that drives a brown cutlass? <laughs> I was like, nah. She was like, well, this guy's been sitting outside of your house for a long time, and he's been out there about an hour. And 
Uh, he's not doing anything. He's just sitting out there and I've already taken down his license plates. <laughs> so, you know, that was my Cowboy Western days too, man. I went out there with my pistol hanging. I was like, yeah, can I help you? So it turns out he was waiting on his wife who was a housekeeper for my neighbor. But yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> but you got to get to know you. Get to know your neighbors. Get to know your neighbors. If you have those kind of neighbors who don't want you to know who they are and don't want you to know what they're doing, just peep out that window every now and then and see what's going on because it's some strange people out there, man. And you don't want to be waking up to the news one day of a neighbor annihilates, massacre the whole family. And, and you're like, wow, man. Because you know, you, you see those news reports all the time where neighbors say, wow, I never knew. I never suspected it. They were so quiet. They were so mannerable. The kids were so mannerable. Also, if you ever want to know if your neighbor is abusing your, their children. Knock on the door or ring the bell, whatever. Go inside. <clears throat> and if you see the house pristine, you see it in pristine condition, chances are, I ain't going to say it's always like that, but chances are they're abusing the child. If there's a child in there and you go there and it's just so super, super quiet. I'm talking about if you go there multiple times and it's really, 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 really quiet. And you know they have kids that are inside the house and that are present. That's a sign of abuse. May not be physical abuse, but it's some form of abuse because you have to let children be children. Kids are noisy. Kids are noisy. That's just how it is. They're noisy. Uh, kids are messy. They leave stuff around the house. That's just what they do. And no matter how many times you tell them, something's going to be out of place. Now, I'm not saying your house got to be junky because I've ne my house has never been junky. But... Kids going to always leave something out of place. So you got to constantly be on them all the time. No household with kids is going to be in pristine condition. Even if you got a 24 hour maid, it just don't work like that. So get to know your neighbors. That dude was really, really creepy. And he used the old passive aggressive number where he know he was clearly in the wrong he's crossing over the dude's property he in total violation and he tried to switch it up he gonna try to flip the script and tell dude you're molesting me you're always messing me y'all he's being the nosy he's you know, messing with me <laughs> right remind me of republicans now nah, they do stuff and everything they do they try to act like uh, they don't. They accuse other people of doing the exact same thing that they do. Just because they can. I mean, everything that they do, they accuse other people of doing. It's amazing. Just listen to Donald Trump talk today. Heard Donald Trump say something about his newest, his newest defense for people attacking him is Many people have done me wrong. No, he said, many people have wronged me. That's what he said. Many people have wronged me. <laughs> it's amazing how people who refuse to accept accountability are always trying to hold someone else accountable. It's just amazing. You got a number of judges who are the same way. Police officers, the same way. Many of them. Always trying to hold somebody else accountable. But get to know your name. That dude, he a creepy one. 
And when the, the neighbor, the neighbor was very calm. Well, you know, he was very tempered the whole time. I'm surprised because when dude got a little, he got a little belligerent with it. He got combative. I would have been like, man, I, if that had been me, I'd have touched him up. I ain't gonna even lie. If I had been like that other dude, like just filming him for a minute and just trying to see what's going on, I'll film him a little bit. And then, then I bust him and then he started trying to turn it on me. And then he got really disrespectful, like he was being real. He got real disrespect, got real, real greasy with him. Then I would have went on and touched him up. Yeah, that's what I'd have done. So get to know your neighbor. Throw a party, invite him over. Invite yourself over to their party. No, don't do that. You might get shot. Used to be able to do that. Can't do it no more. So that's my message, y'all. Salute. Get to know your neighbor. Today, make the commitment. Make the pledge to get to know your neighbor. No more talk. What the talking about. Yeah. Or like the text.